Welcome back, NYC Fragrance Family. Top 10 Fall List, Designer Edition. Yes, I gave you the cheapies first. Now we're coming back with designers. And you know what's going to be next. I break it up into the three lists. I'm sorry if I'm that guy, but I just like doing it that way. It is what it is. Number 10. Let's rock right through it. Halloween Man Shot. A lot of people are liking this fragrance to YSL's La Nuit de L'Homme. And I can see why. Sweet, seductive fragrance. Coming in on the cheap. Probably one of the best cheapy buys for the fall that you can get your hands on. But this ain't the cheapy list. This is the designer list. This is Halloween Man Shot. Now Halloween Man X is another great release that was more recent with the coffee note. Take your pick. This one, probably easier to wear. Number 10, Halloween Man Shot. Number nine. One of the houses, if you're familiar with the channel, that I adore. Probably the line from the house that I really enjoy. From the Dunhill Icon line, Icon Elite. The all black, rough edge bottle. That'll knock somebody the hell out. This is that suede note and that addition of the ebony note to the original Icon DNA. Perfect for the fall. Makes it a fall fragrance. You know, when you start thinking fall winter, you start thinking darker. And the representation of the black bottle tells you it's a darker fragrance. It's darker than the silver one, right? That's the original Icon bottle. And it's lingering in the air. This is really nice stuff, man. This is stuff that, again, you can pull off for work, no problem. You could dress this up, you could dress it down. And still a pretty good value too. Dunhill Icon Elite. Next one, popular, been on almost all the lists. There is a newer version, but this one here is still doing its thing for me. Versace Eros. And as you can see again, and I always like to show that, there's some wares out of that bottle. One of the best designer vanilla fragrances you can get your nose on. You know, call it the club fragrance, call it the party fragrance. Not so mature fragrance, but still a great smelling fragrance. And I wear it as you can see. So that's at number eight, Versace Eros. Number seven, the fragrance that pulled me into this recent fragrance journey. The first purchase that I made when all of this craziness started to over, a little over two years ago. And it is Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. Referred to as Christmas in a Bottle. I don't know about all of that, but I bought it in February and I wore it in April. Probably not the right time to wear it, but it worked well. And so I say, you wear what you want when you want to wear it. This whole seasonal thing is suggestive. It's not Bible, quote unquote. So at number seven, seven, Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. Number six, one that I had in the collection and that I also wore on the same trip when I picked up Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. I brought this one with me too because on the plane you can carry 50 ml bottles. You actually can go up to 100 ml, but I'd rather not. So I picked up a 50 because I had the 100 to bring with me and the fragrance if you know the channel. Bulgari Perome Soir. Tea fragrance. Fantastic. You know, it's called Perome Soir, which is for men at night. A nighttime version of the original Ohm fra Perome fragrance from Bulgari. And yeah, I could see why it would be considered more so for night. I do consider this a more dressy fragrance, although people do wear it casually. And I did, but I remember wearing it mostly 
at night. And most of the fragrances I did wear or do wear when I go on vacation tend to be at night, except maybe during the summertime. So that's at number six, Bulgari Prohomme Soir. At number five, getting into the top five, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramal. I know everybody's getting tired of seeing these bottles and getting tired of hearing about Ultramal and so on and so forth, but it's just a fantastic full fragrance. It does what it has to do. It works. It lasts. Smells great. People love it. It is what it is. If you haven't smelled it, check it out when you get a chance. Pretty sure you won't be disappointed. If you don't like sweet fragrances, you may not like it. But if you do, this is definitely one you got to check out. Number four, acquisition this year. One that I have pretty much really loved from the Sensual Blends line. Out of all the other ones, it seems to be my favorite. And it is Azaro Hot Pepper. I don't know if it's the color of the bottle that drew me in. But the smell... From the three simple notes, it's sweet with a little spiciness, a little zinginess. It's just something different. You know, it's not your typical sweet fragrance. And I think that's what I like mostly about it. And that's why I like this one. So at number four on my fall list, designer, Azaro Hot Pepper. Now, number three, this is going to be controversial because of what it is but as far as I'm concerned Tom Ford's a designer I don't care whether it's the signature series or private blend it's a designer fragrance and my number three is Tom Ford plum Japanese smoky plum fragrance sexy date fragrance my favorite private blend fragrance out of all the private blends now, Amber Absolute can be a favorite too. You know, the re-release, so on and so forth. It was, it was vaulted. This one's still around. You can find it discounted. So, as far as prices go, it's not the usual private blend price. But this is the designer list, not the cheapy list. So, for all of you that don't like that I threw in a private blend Tom Ford, it is what it is. If you like smoky somewhat sweet seductive fragrances you got to get your nose on plum japanese that's all i'm gonna say number two recent acquisition as well but it's going to be a fall staple ysly eau de parfum you know bring on the blue fragrances there's so many of them but some are done just right, and YSLY EDP is done right. That's why it's number two on my fall list. And the last one on the fall list was acquired this year. Definitely stole the show. Still available and cheap. But I didn't want to put it on a cheapy list because this could easily be selling for $90, $100, and be worth every penny. And it is La Lique L'Homme, Homage à L'Homme. This is, let me tell you, La Lique, Guerlain, two houses that are, you know, this is a designer, they consider designer, and Guerlain is considered designer. Although Guerlain really doesn't make much other than fragrances. So there's that, is it niche or is it designer controversy? With Lalique, they're considered designer. But Lalique puts out some fragrances that are just niche quality, fantastic. This separates you from anyone else. Number one on my list for a good reason. The probably most unique fragrance on the list. And your scent bubble is something you'll appreciate. Number one, Homage à l'Homme from Lalique. Fall 2020. 
So I hope you like the designer list. My designers have definitely outpaced my niche fragrances in 2020 because of the COVID-19 situation. A lot of blind buying because I can't get to a store. You know, niche is one of those things. If I don't get samples and I don't smell them, I'm not going to spend the money. I've done a lot of blind buying and a lot of blind buys on designers. Safe blind buys, so to speak. But I've enjoyed them all nonetheless, and I've been wearing them, and I really enjoy the fragrances. And I hope you guys do too. So, new viewers, thank you for stopping by. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family. And my NYC Fragrance family. Thank you for your continued support. It really means a lot to me. From the bottom of my heart, you guys are the best. Leave some comments below. We'll chat. Let me know some designers that you're wearing for the fall. I like to hear about them. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.